Tonight, a Coin 6 investigation, local nurses claim that they are being cheated out of overtime. Those involved who identified modifications to their time are very concerned, very upset. They say managers at one of the area's largest hospitals are changing their time cards. Welcome everyone to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Kelly Day. And I'm Jeff Giannola. And Joey Winaga went straight to the source tonight to get to the bottom of these claims. And Joel, what did you discover? Good evening, Kelly and Jeff. I spoke with the Nurses Union here at Providence St. Vincent Medical Center, and tonight they are leveling some very serious allegations against nursing supervisors dating back to 2007. Nurses claim their time cards were intentionally altered by their managers to reflect fewer minutes worked. Hospital wide, nurses at Providence St. Vincent say supervisors were removing overtime minutes. They're reporting their Kronos time records were changed by managers without their authorization. Nurses came forward after identifying a widespread practice of unauthorized changes to their time records made by managers of Providence St. Vincent Medical Center. Sally LaJoy is the labor relations rep for the Oregon Nurses Association. Newsletters sent to St. Vincent nurses dating back to May make the claims. Then two weeks ago, the union says the hospital agreed to audit all nursing units dating back to 2007 when the time card system started. Nurses believe they may have been shortchanged on their paychecks for six years. From the evidence that we've been presented, um, it's a very serious concern that this would be a practice. I made several calls and left two messages for the hospital spokesperson today. They were not returned as of news time. I also paid a visit to the hospital but was told to leave another message. In the meantime, the nurses union filed a grievance for all staff nurses at St. Vincent saying the practice is both illegal and a violation of your contract. We're in the process of evaluating all of our legal and contractual options and we take the matters like this very seriously. The nurses union is demanding the hospital pay the nurses back who rightly earned their overtime. That was not reflected in their paychecks. Back live outside Providence St. Vincent Medical Center tonight. Again, as of news time, the hospital has not responded to us. Uh, starting tomorrow, we, of course, will continue to follow this and try to get the, the uh, hospital reaction to all this. Back to you, Jeff. Well, Joel, is there any timeline on this side? Of when will we know for sure exactly what happened? Well, Jeff, according to The Voice, the uh, newsletter for the Providence St. Vincent nurses, we've been told that this audit could take anywhere from 30 to 45 days. And we, of course, will stay on top of that. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, Kelly, we'll Jeff. continue to follow it closely. Joel, thank you. And we